Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today's video, we're going to discuss Consortium Co-op, more on the boss itself, on how to um, take it down, how to efficiently deal damage. Okay, so we have here some reminders actually, just before you start um, tearing up the boss to shreds. Okay, a lot of you guys I know are excited to finish off the boss and probably progress um, each Berserker level. But number one reminder is only act artifacts that reach 100% will be counted to your overall pool of artifacts. Okay, guys, just, just to give you guys an example, um, in our Arena 9, we're at, we're at 10, right? So at 10, um, this is going to give us ally counter skill haste plus 15%. Take note that this won't be included because we're actually at only 30%. So the ones that will be included will be only um, artifacts 1 to 9. So make sure that you aim to finish off each artifact up to level 100 so that you don't miss its buffs. Okay, the next on our reminder is going to be artifact conversion per member. So as you can see, there is an ideal number of artifacts that um, your, your consortium should have depending on the member size or the member number. So here's the formula for you guys. So number of members times three because you have three tries per arena then you multiply that by 30 percent so it, it it's here it's 0.3 so number of artifacts again that you can aim to collect as a team okay for example for us 23 times 3 which is roughly 69 times 0.30 percent so you, you'll be getting around 20 percent 20 point seven percent or if you round it up, you'll be getting um, 21. So as a team, we will be aiming around 21 because we have 23 members. Next would be um, uh, two attempts per boss per member. Okay, so that's number three. The boss must be hit to gain rewards. Um, if, a, if a certain number of members were not able to attack, let's say for example, for for the boss at level one if a certain number of members don't get to attack it they won't be availing of the rewards for that certain boss so but if they do attack the level two boss they will be getting rewards from that so that's actually a big difference or not really a big difference but a difference of either getting some or getting none at all okay so ideally lower level members go first um because they could deal lesser attacks, uh, sorry, they could deal lesser damage, and the last will be the closer who can deal the highest DPS. So I'm not sure who is the closer within your consortium or within your, or within your team, but you must be able to um, talk, some, talk amongst yourselves who is going to be the sequence in terms of who is going to be the last, probably the last three or the last two. So you can just decide that amongst yourselves. And also the last tip that I have a reminder is when a boss dies, the next boss with a higher level will be next, of course. So if you've defeated level one, the next will that would appear within that week if the, the week is still alive. Like for example, we already bo um, defeated boss level one yesterday. Now we have level two. So basically um, level two appears and so on and so forth. If we defeat the level um, two boss within the week, level three boss with, uh, will, cut it, will, will appear within the week. Okay, what if you happen to defeat level one to level seven within the week? What happens? Next week, you will be starting again at level one as long as you defeat the boss from level seven because the max level uh, is going to be uh, level seven for a single week. Okay, what if, for example, we end up um, defeating only up to level two? What happens next week? So um, if you totally defeat level two, you'll be getting level three next week. Um, if you don't totally defeat level two, you'll still be getting level two next week. So that is more or less 
how it's going to be you have to defeat level seven for the cycle to repeat again so again those are just reminders that you can actually guys discuss in your consortium um who is who is going to go first what are we going to do which arena are we going to prioritize what artifacts are we going to prioritize what buffs do we need and also um i would like to emphasize this this is um basically not a this is not going to be a uh what do you call this a race in terms of who finishes or which consortium finishes first their uh their their arena or their boss you have to um, really plan this out. You have a week or five days to talk this out. Probably take the first and second day to talk. Then uh, third, fourth, and fifth would be the days wherein you attack the arena. Then you attack the boss. Okay, so we're here now. Um, as you can see, I just want to remind you guys. You can see here the, the purification ops, the boss kill assist points. So again, each boss has is going to get their assist points um also you will be getting season rewards so as of total participation reward i have but kill points i don't have yet because i haven't fought the boss yet and let's take a look at the kill points and hp points of you know the bosses that we're going to encounter okay as you can see here boss hp and kill points so phase one boss you're going to be um he's going to have 45 million hp so that's around 20,000 kill points. So at least um, give um, some skill point, uh, some kill points to the other members so that they could avail of the rewards for the phase one because it's actually kind of small, 20,000, and most of, of the players can deal a lot of kill points already. So try to manage the earlier, smaller uh, stages of the boss, especially for phases one and two. Phase 2 boss would be 47 million plus, 22,000 kill points. Phase 3 would be, um, uh, HP would be 50 million plus, 24,000 kill points. Phase 4 would be 55 million plus, 28 kill points. Phase 5 would be 60 million at 32 kill points. Phase 6 would be 65 plus million at 36 kill points. And at phase 7, the last boss will be at 70 plus million at 40,000 kill points okay one phase is equals to one berserker level each berserker level also increases the attack and defense so don't forget about that as well so let's continue on to probably a match i'll put together a team so that i could finish off my what they call this my uh, demolition worm for my consortium Okay, so I'm going to try this out. This is just actually a sample. Um, I don't know yet on how to really um, build this team. So I'm going to try this out with this composition. So I have a lot of damage dealers here. Uh, only a few or probably one defender. The rest are strictly for dealing damage. I actually have Nayu been here. So let's take a look at... Let's try this, guys. i um, going to have one... What do you call this? One one pass at this one okay let's not do this in auto so let's do this conventional way you can actually deploy deploy um a lot either at the back or at the front so let's do this here let's try to i'm going to this is actually just an experiment guys wanted to experiment on this see how this goes and how big of a damage i can deal so some are at the back side um i'm not sure if you should be dealing more in the back side or you can deal in the front So hopefully I can I'm actually looking forward to taking down this this worm. I'm just actually deploying left and right. I'm actually I actually don't know what I'm doing at this point. Um probably best if um you deploy at the back, probably having a bigger damage, but we'll see, we'll see. So I'm at a minute and twenty-eight. Let's deploy this. 
let's see how big of a damage I'll be giving this worm. So hopefully... So damage reduction, attack speed. Probably your squishy ones would be at the backside of the worm. Not necessarily on the front. So that... Um, Actually, he's switching again. He's switching to the other side. So at 46. We'll see. We'll see if uh, how... I'm at 35 seconds already, guys. So just deploy, deploy. Um, he's actually attacking you left and right. So you, basically at this point, you... you I'm, I'm not sure if you can choose... Probably gonna rearrange my order later in terms of having Sigma um, be present earlier so that I could take advantage of the deployment that she is giving. So that's it. So time over. So, I, so almost actually it's half below half. Okay, so let's have another go at this, guys. I'm at uh, he's at 44%. I'd like to be more efficient. 44. There you go. Sigma. Kill the. So let's deploy you at the back. I'm going to try to deploy them at the back. The. Uh, oh, again, she found. She found her at the back. Let's give her a healer. Give her a healer. And... Okay, so at this point, I'm just going nuts at deploying. <laughs> so let's put out Rosaria for... Maximum DPS. Next would be Shinja for attack speed. Let's see if... And the Rifleman for more damage. Let's see, let's see. What is it's going to do? Hopefully we could take down level 2 this week and probably have level 3 next week start. So I'm just deploying left and right at this point. Um, the higher damages, the better. There you go. So who else? Can I deploy both of you? And at least, at least Yumi is still there. And the back part, the, the the back part is actually most of them are still alive. Hilde is still alive, so we're at uh, twenteen. Let's deploy more guys. Need two more. I have to have more DPS at this point. Okay, so that's thirty something. 30 million only 34 left so that's more or less 10 percent reduction for that round only so i'm actually happy guys um hopefully um the rest can be can be uh what they call this can be uh finished off by other team members and that is it guys so again um buffs really play a big part um especially if you guys have a specific build to bring uh and also um it actually plays more on the early stages um the boss is not that not that what they call this not that uh, tough yet so more on dps probably down the line you would go more, more with defense as the boss um, continues to go higher so for season rewards for participation rewards how much did I get? I already get this one. Consortium uh, Coalition Token. And Participation. 
I'm at 5,000. That's it, guys. So hopefully um, you find this informative. For those who have stuck this far this video, so please consider subscribing. Also, put uh, sorry, uh, check that bell icon and also put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.